Let's start by talking about 2009, the championship season. If I asked 25 guys on your roster and every coach, I'd get a different answer to this question probably. But as you look back on the championship season, what images, what snapshots will you always remember? Wow. Um, there's, there's a lot. But I, I think it's the last out is, is what I remember. The ball hit to Robbie Cano and how guys like Francisco Cervelli almost ran into the base runner. They were out to the mound so quickly. And if you, and if you watch the tape, I mean, they almost interfere. The excitement in the guys, um, amazing. It absolutely is amazing, and as you transition to the 2010 season, the quest is to do it again. You do it this season, though, without Johnny Damon and Hideki Matsui. From what you've seen in the spring so far, are you comfortable and confident in the fact that the new guys will be able to pick up that slack? I am confident, and, and you don't look at the two guys. I mean, people are going to try to compare Nick Johnson to Matsui and Curtis Granderson to Johnny Damon. You look at everyone that we assembled together. We added Javi Vasquez as well. and. Um, we like what we've put together here, and uh, I've been happy with them so far in spring training, and only time will tell, but I mean, as we've said all along, it takes 25 guys, sometimes 30, sometimes 35 to win a championship. It's not going to fall on these two guys. Well, it is amazing, though, when you look at the guys that you brought in. One of the guys that really seems to be a linchpin for you, because pitching was so important to you last year, is Javi Vasquez. Can you talk about the importance of him? Yeah, we think he's going to be real important to the rotation, because last year we were piecemealing that fourth and fifth starter. Um, because we had the rules with Jabba and, and we weren't sure what we were going to get out. You know, five innings and we had to use our bullpen a lot. This is a guy that goes deep into games, that knows how to pitch, has pitched in New York before, was tremendous last year, and we think he's improved every year. So we're excited to add him to our rotation. Jabba Chamberlain, Phil Hughes, they get a lot of attention. Are you ever amused by the fact that that is always a topic of controversy, of debate on Sports Talk Radio? Well, you know, it used to be just Jabba. You know, is he a bullpen guy? Is he a starter? Well, Phil went into the bullpen and did so well last year. The debate's going to go on about him as well. So, I mean, these guys, what they did is they performed very well in the bullpen. And, you know, we're asking someone to step up as a starter here. And at times, Jabba threw very well. And at times, Husey threw well as a starter last year. And we're going to see how it's going to work out. And not everything's always etched in stone. Once you leave spring training, you might have one idea, and it could change halfway through the season. I mean, we've seen that happen a lot in the game of baseball. But, um, We'll see how it works out. You could probably say the same thing about your lineup this season. You've got some options. Do you think ultimately you're going to go with kind of a set lineup, or do you see maybe this season more than last a little more flexibility with the guys you have? I'd like to go with a set lineup. It's it's a lot easier uh, when you do that. But when you look at Matsui, he had 470 at-bats, 480 at-bats last year. So, I mean, ours wasn't always set. We gave Johnny days off. We gave Alex days off. Um, but when we ran out our, you know, our number one lineup, it was the same every time. We'll be able to do that this year. I'm not sure. I'd like to be able to do it, but we're going to have to see how some people do. I mean, we're going to have to see how Guardy does as an everyday player. Can he be an everyday player for us? Um, the one thing he did last year is he played very well. He got off to a slow start and rebounded from that very well. But 500, 600 bats is different than 270. One of the things that people noticed about you last season, that you were a little different manager in year two than you were in year one. I think that's fair to say. I guess the old dog learned a few new tricks. Yeah. I mean, not that old a dog, but anyway, you know what I mean. An old dog. You got it. <laughs> now you're coming off a championship season. What have you learned from year two that maybe makes you an even better manager in year three? I think you learn your players. Um, you learn more about their personality. You learn more about them on the field and off the field and what makes them tick. You know, now I have a year under my belt with CC and AJ and, and the guys that we added last year. Now I have to do that all over with Curtis and Nick and Javi and some of the other guys. If Marcus Thames makes his team, he's another guy that you have to do with it. Um, but the better you get to know these guys, the better you understand what makes them tick and, and what some of their signs are when they're giving you signals. And I think that's real helpful. Final question. This also came up at the start of spring training, the fact that you, Derek Jeter, Mariano Rivera, do not have contract extensions beyond this season. It's Yankees' policy not to do that. I know you've said publicly, I mean, you're okay with that. You yeah. knew that was coming. But is it ever in the back of your mind, or do you look at it more as a motivator, or does anything change for you? It's really never in the back of my mind. You know, obviously, you're here to perform every year, as whether you're a player or you're a manager. And I feel fortunate whenever I have these pinstripes on. And I'm one of 30 managers in the big leagues. I'm pretty blessed, um, and I know that. So I don't really worry about my contract. I believe the good Lord's going to take care of me, and he's going to put me where he wants me next year. Thank you, Bob. Tune in all season long to WB Mason Presents the Joe Girardi Show for insight and news right from the manager himself. The season debut airs Saturday, April 3rd, immediately following the Yankees game against their future stars. All other Joe Girardi shows will debut on Sundays throughout the season.